So I was browsing Twitter and I noticed that Steve Harvey was trending and I was like, oh Lord, why is Steve Harvey trending? And what I found was there was this old clip from 2010 of Steve Harvey talking about why he doesn't have any women friends. And I just thought this was something that was worth bringing up. So I've done videos, several videos on relationships and the levels of friendship. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about an ideology that I've seen in a lot of men over the years and how this is something that's toxic, something that we really have to confront. And we're gonna discuss this little clip uh, that resurfaced from Steve Harvey that was from 2010. So let's get into it. Before we do, do me real quick, a quick favor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on this video. And if you enjoyed this, there's plenty more content like this around. So do me a quick favor and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any notifications. So. All right, let's get into it. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? And, what do you mean? Well, because, you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, okay, let's get rid of this <laughs> myth right here. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the arm. <laughs> and this trust man, and wow. believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the wow. opportunity. Because we're guys. And you think most guys. men think this way? Uh, 99.9% of us think that way. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and stop it right there. So Steve Harvey says 99% of men can't be friends with women. 99% of men can't be friends with women without there being some type of ulterior motive. Now, I thought this was very interesting. And I was thinking back like when I was younger. And that's the funny thing about this. I don't like this. The I don't like this almost a theology. I don't, I don't like this ideology mainly because it's just so immature. It's lacking of accountability. It's assigning very toxic, very unhelpful traits to men that are not like across the board for all men. For example, to say that 99.9% .9 of men are like that, they can have no healthy friendships or relationships with women outside of sexual relationships or outside of this ulterior motive of wanting to have sex or be with them. To me, that's wild. I am not a fan of that, that approach. And anyone that's seen my content would know that one of the things that I'm big on when it comes to relationships is friendship. I think friendship is one of the most underrated ways. <laughs> and you would think, okay, maybe when you hear my approach, you'll be like, well, Essentially, what you're saying is, yeah, become friends with people so that you can get with them. And no, what I mean by friendship is if you take the time to get to know people and have healthy relationships with the opposite sex, then what you will find is you'll be able to kind of know what you like. You'll be able to see how you coexist with a person. And being a friend with a person is a very healthy way to gauge if you could see that person even being in your life. Many of us, when we're dating, we get into relationships and we base it solely off of vanity. We base it off of vanity metrics that we look at. And those metrics are how a person looks, you know, physical attributes, you know, the size of their butt, <laughs> the size of their breasts. Like those are very much outward. Like do they have clear skin? What complexion they are? Like those are the type of vain uh, vanity that we hold at such a high stock and premium when it comes to dating. And what that does is it really makes it hard for us to actually get to know a person or to view a person uh, by what they're really worth and not just on the outward, but like not looking at a person and what they're worth or their value based on their outward, but really the whole thing. Because the outward does play a role in attraction and it plays a role in you you know relationships you want to be attracted to a person but just thinking in friendships like if a woman can only be useful for and this is just me if a woman can only be useful for you if they are able to give you sex or if they're to make you look good and from a status perspective like you can see yourself with a person because it boosts your status up then i think that you have a toxic view of women and so 
I just think that was crazy. There's, let me go back to that part. So he says, we remain your friends in hopes that one day. Remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door. A crack in the a door. A chink in the armor. And trust and believe that guy that you think is just. You know how predatorial that is in nature for you to say that you're waiting for there to be a chink in the armor. You're waiting for me to let up my guard and then you're going to step in. That's very toxic. That's a very toxic mentality. I'm not saying that Steve, I feel like Steve Harvey was projecting that on all men, but I do think far too many men have a predatory approach when it comes to relationships, when it comes to their interests in women. And I think that's very that's scary. That's actually scary. If I'm a woman and I'm seeing that, I'm like scared. I'm like, okay, well, can I trust any man? And this is why I think this is so toxic because number one, it creates a dynamic of distrust in all men for women. Women have a reason to say all men are this, all men are that. I, no man can be trusted. And that is very toxic. And that is not the case with all, with all men. You can't say anything blanket statement. And I'm sure I would hope that if upon talking with him, he would say, well, 99 for nine is probably a high percent because that's pretty much the, such a small, minuscule number of men that aren't like this. And I just don't think that that's the case. I think there's many men, especially if we're talking about Christian men, I think there's many guys out there that don't take this approach, that don't feel like they can't be friends with the opposite sex just because they're attractive or things like that, or they had to get something out of them. That's crazy to think that the only value a woman has is what you can get from them or what they can do for you. That's just not how relationships work in terms of friendships. Friendships are about a mutual uh, bonding in a sense. And I'm not even talking about like sexual or on a dating level, but it's like mutually you finding someone that you share things in common with those commonalities allow you to go through the levels of friendship, which we've talked about before, where you have acquaintance, casual friend, close friend, and then intimate friend. You find those commonalities as acquaintances, and then you may build up a casual friendship where under certain circumstances, you can hang out and do things with a person. And it doesn't even mean isolated. It may mean in a group setting as well. So completely disagree. Uh, Steve Harvey, I would hope your views on this have changed. Although you've been in so many marriages, I understand why you feel this way about you, but don't project this on all men. And I'm saying that as a man, <laughs> don't project how you look at women and how you view relationships or friendships with women as this way only, and this is all men, or even the men that you're around. Don't project your friendships and dudes you know to all men. I just think that's very toxic. I know I've used that word a lot in this toxic, but I just really think that this is not the this is not the picture we want to paint for women when it comes to men. Because if all men are like this, then Basically, the next thing that's going to come into play is all men cheat. So you're going to start to justify things like cheating. So all men cheat now or all men are, are only interested in sex with women or all men only want to be friends with women if they can get something out. It's just very problematic things that come out of this. So those are my thoughts on this. I would love to know your thoughts on this <laughs> crazy clip that was trending yesterday. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Make sure you leave a comment. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any notifications. And let me know your thoughts. I want my way to the top. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I, I cannot fit in the middle. I want my way to the top. I,